We're now joined by Dr. Laura Greenwald, a music department chair, director of vocal activities, and the choral and opera workshop at Caldwell University. Good to see you, doctor. Good morning. Thank you for having me. It's our pleasure. Let's put this in perspective. Music and mental health make the connection. Um, many of us participate in music as a, a group activity where we, we share um, working on a common goal. We love to sing. Of course, singing uh, releases endorphins, which make you feel better. And um, we can sing and, and express our emotions through music and through singing. How challenging is it? We were just talking before we got on the air. I'll disclose I teach a, a doctoral program, a course in the doctoral uh, program for educational administrators at Caldwell University. And I was just saying it's challenging to do that remotely. How do you do what you do remotely? Well, I'm not doing it all remotely. The music department faculty are in person on campus. And for some students, we are the only class that they have on campus. But I'm, I'm really proud of the way our faculty has um, stepped into a very challenging situation. Um, we, we switched to remote uh, in the spring and we just, we were remote then. But over the summer, we looked at what we could do and we thought about how we needed to make music. Um, and in fact, I teach voice, so I, I purchased a setup so I could teach here at home. And it became so hard for some of my students that I'm, I'm meeting some voice students in person, wearing a mask, socially distanced in a, in a, a ventilated room. Um, all of our ensembles are on campus. And I, I would love to share with you some of the innovative things they're doing, if, if I may. Such as? Uh, the marching band doesn't have football games to <laughs> perform at, but they performed in the parking lot for family and friends. And they marched up the street for a 100th birthday party on Sunday. Um, the opera workshop, uh, we are doing a devised opera and we wrote a script about the pandemic and what it feels like. And we set it to art songs and arias of Schubert and Mozart. We record that this afternoon without an audience because of the aerosol. And we're singing with masks because of the aerosol. Um, my chorale, I'm, I'm really proud of a couple of projects we're doing. Um, we, we did a sister project because Caldwell University is, was founded by the Sisters of St. Dominic. And That's I've right. been there 30 years, but there are not so many sisters on campus any longer. So I contacted my friends and I sent some of the students out to interview them. And they came back and presented um, individual interviews with the sisters, sharing their, their experiences and their talents. And probably the first project we signed on to, and it's gonna be the culmination of the semester, um, New Jersey composer Karen Siegel created a work that was designed to incorporate the latency. It's really hard to perform music on the computer because of the delay. And so she, she incorporated that into a choral piece that she wrote, and we're supposed to premiere it this Thursday. But in fact, because I have so many students in person, it was harder to, to do it with some students remote and some in person. So we flipped it and we're actually singing with masks, socially distanced in the gymnasium, streaming Facebook Live this Thursday. So everything has to be, you have to be innovative, you have to be flexible. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry for, you just triggered something, uh, Dr. Greenwald. I had, I've had many conversations with your, with your new president, um, Matt Whalen, and what's so interesting is we talked about innovation, leadership, and teaching. Much of being a great university professor slash teach slash teacher is about innovation, correct? Well, I think it's about, you have to teach any at any level. You have to love teaching. And at Caldwell University, one of the things I'm so proud of is that we, we teach the students as much as the subject. It's not teaching the subject to students. We teach the students the subject. So I look at my students, I look at what I have, and part of the reason I flipped this project on, on Thursday was because it was for the benefit of my students. I, I felt it would be a better experience for them if we could do it in person. And that's the reason I flipped some of my, my teaching, my, my private teaching in person, was for the success of the students. That's our, really, that's our primary goal at Caldwell. Well, before I let you go, I need to ask you this. Why do you love music so much? 
Um, it, it's my life. <laughs> I've been I've been teaching and working in music since I was a child. I can't imagine doing anything else. I love the experience of of making music with others. And as a teacher and an educator, I love the experience of seeing the light go on with beginners. I, I have students who are a student who's 85 who just applied to go to graduate school in music. Be and I just love, I just love, the. you're not too old to experience it in some way. Maybe too old to sing at the Metropolitan Opera, but <laughs> not too, not, you can always, at any level, at any ability level, you can find yeah. joy. And, and that's what I hope to bring out. Well, let me just say this, uh, Dr. Laura Greenwald over at Caldwell University, one of our higher ed partners and, and, and colleagues for a long time. I gotta say this, one of the things beyond innovation, beyond new techniques of teaching, the one thing you can't teach people is to have great passion and you bring it. Uh, Dr. Thank Laura, you. thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. It's my pleasure. I'm Steve Adubato. That's Dr. Laura Greenwald. And we thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation. Funding has been provided by the New Jersey Education Association, Valley Bank, the Russell Berry Foundation, PSCNG, the Fidelco Group, Kessler Foundation, St. Joseph's Health, Fedway Associates, Inc., and by NJ Best. Promotional support provided by NorthJersey.com and Local IQ, part of the USA Today Network, and by New Jersey Globe. What is your child's dream for the future? Doctor? Teacher? Architect? Whatever they aspire to be, a college education may realize those dreams. And NJ Best can help. It's the college savings plan specifically designed for New Jersey families. Start saving today with as little as $25, because now is the time to invest in their future. To learn about NJ Best 529 College Savings Plan, its investment objectives, risks, and costs, read the Investor Handbook available at njbest.com.